Hey there, YouTube. Chris, WX4SAR. Back again. I'm doing some more attic uh, antenna work here. I just installed a Wilson 2000 trucker antenna here. Uh, CB antenna. It's a little tall. I had to, it's bent a bit, but I think it'll be okay. And I ran a whole bunch of radials for it. And I also attached radials to the dual band ham antenna here. I was told I needed them. This WR was fine, but yeah, I know it couldn't hurt anything. So I got uh, radials running uh, all four directions. And also stuck my old Discone scanner antenna up here. I don't know how well that's going to work. But figured, uh, I mean, I couldn't, it was falling apart. It wasn't in the best condition, so I had to take it off the mast outside anyway. So I'll figure I'll try it in here, but uh, yeah, everything went together pretty easily. It's a little warm up here, but I uh, got everything wired and uh, now we're going to check the SWR. Okay, I'm testing the uh, dual band antenna that's up in the attic. I got it set, I got the, uh, S, the antenna analyzer set uh, right about the middle of the 2 meter band. And SWR is 1.8, so that's that could definitely be better. Now, if I tune it down, you see the SWR drops, and the SWR is actually lowest, oh, right about 140 megahertz. So I need to shorten up the antenna on two meters uh, quite a bit there. Okay, I got it in the. Uh, 400 megahertz area here so as you can see oh turn it down it's resonant uh, right about 430 megahertz so that needs to uh, that needs to be shortened up uh, as well so the antenna is too tall uh, I'm gonna have to crawl up there and uh, shorten it and uh, then give it another try Let's see what it's at actually in the 440. That's here we are, 440. Actually, it's not bad. It's 1.6 megahertz at 444. So it's actually usable. I mean, it's usable on two meters as well. It's just higher than I would prefer. Um, but it's only 1.6 at 444, which is not bad at all. Let's see what's at 448. Uh, 2 megahertz, or, uh, 2.0, uh, SWR. So that's, I mean, it's acceptable, but I'd prefer it lower. At 440, ooh, that's weird. Why is it, uh, huh. It's 2.2 .2 SWR at, uh, 440 megahertz. And, but it drops down quickly. It's 1.5 at 445. 444, 445. So that's... Huh, there's a very narrow range on there. Yeah. So across the 2 meter band it's acceptable and across 440 it's acceptable but um, I'm going to try to lower the uh, or shorten the antenna up a bit and uh, see if that improves the SWR. Um, back in a minute. Okay, I shortened the uh, antenna up about a quarter of an inch. Uh, we're 1.2 at 144. Let's go on up to 146. All right, we're 1.3 at 146. Let's see what 148 is. All right, right about 148, we're at 1.6, so that's much better. Um, not much. I mean, it's it's a little better, but I like I like where it's at now. So we're about 1.5 across the whole two meter band. Uh, let's take a look at uh, 440. All right, let's go to 444. All right, we're at 1.5 at 444. 
Where are we at 440? Huh, we're at 2.2 on 440. Uh, 444, we're at 1.5, 448, 1.9. And this antenna, it's a Nagoya, uh, you know, Chinese knockoff. Uh, so it's not the greatest uh, antenna out there. But, um, I mean, it's usable on 440. I don't get on 440 very much, so. All right, I'm testing the, uh, I'm testing the Wilson CB antenna right now. And uh, around channel one, it's actually one to one, which is uh, awesome. Um, let's see, let's go up to 27. Oh, what's channel 2205? Oh, missed it. Oh, come on. I wish this knob wasn't so twitchy. Okay, 27.2, that's good. That's good enough, right? So it's 1.5 on channel 20, which is awesome. And let's see what's on, uh, let's see what's at f channel 40. Oop. Oop, come on now. There we go. Ow. Almost had it. Alright, it's close enough. Let's say 2.0 on channel 40, so. Um, it's it's doable. I don't go up on the higher channels that often, and I'm not using any extra power, so I'm not I'm not worried about 2.0 on channel 40. It could definitely be better, but I'm not going to worry about it. All right, I decided to check my coax loss, and it's indicating 8.4 dB. That seems high. I mean, I'm using uh, it's either RG58. Yeah, I think it's RG58 cable. But it's not a it's not a long run. I'm using uh, oh, can't remember what it is. I think it's less than fifty feet. Uh, it might uh, it might actually be thirty thirty five. I don't know. I'd have to look up see exactly what it is. But it's it's fifty feet or less that I'm using, and eight point four dB seems excessively high for just a relatively short run of coax. It, 146.2. Um, I'll, I'll check some of the coax calculators online and see if they say the same thing, but that seems a bit high. Okay, this really doesn't make sense. At 444 megahertz, my coax loss is less than what it is on, on VHF. That makes no sense to me. I thought as you went higher in frequency, coax loss increases. So either this thing isn't quite accurate or I don't know how to use it or I don't know what but that that just seems wrong hmm okay just for fun I decided to check the, the loss on the CB antenna which is the same type of coax 25 feet of RG58 and it's also giving me a loss of 6.9 dB so yeah I wonder if I got some bad coax Possibly. I may have to replace my coax. So, I don't know. More to come, I guess. Okay, here's one coax calculator. And it's saying my coax is 25 feet of RG58. I checked it. It's 25 feet RG58 at 146. I went ahead and put 2 to 1 SWR. Um, even though my SWR is about 1.5, I decided to, you know... Uh, because it wasn't one to one, so I went for two to one, and power in 50 watts, and it's saying that my match loss, uh, my total loss should be about 1.4 dB, nowhere near the 8 point whatever that the meter was showing. So either I'm, either the meter's wrong, or I've got a seriously screwed up coax. I don't know which. I'm gonna check a couple other calculators and see what's up. All right, here's another coax calculator. This one is saying that my total loss should be 1.24 dB. So again, nowhere near the eight point whatever that's showing. So this time I went to Times Microwave Systems. I figured they'd have one of the best uh, coax loss calculators around. And you can see the figures here. RG58, 146 megahertz, 25 foot run length. 
and right there maximum cable assembly insertion loss 1.5 db so either i have something seriously wrong with my coax or the the um, antenna analyzer is wrong so i'm not sure i'm here to give you a uh, update on my uh, hf fan dipole antenna i wondered why um i wasn't getting very why I wasn't making very many contacts during the uh, HF World Championship this year. I just found out why. Yes, this is uh, my ballon hanging down here almost at ground level because the rope I used apparently broke at some point. It is no longer attached to the fence post over there. So, yeah. Just great. That means I gotta wait until friggin fall till all the leaves are off the trees launch a new rope god this one's faded already look at that oh yeah it's already faded all right well apparently uh home depot or lowe's rope or whatever is not the best thing to use so i'm gonna have to order some uh some good uh guy rope and get this thing back up when fall comes and hopefully get it done before um, the next big HF contest, which is right before Halloween, I believe. So, all right, I'll keep y'all updated on this. Uh, I mean, it won't be an update for s several months. It's August now, so yeah, this explains why I had trouble during the HF World Championship. But I did make 13 contacts, which is which is pretty impressive considering my antenna is all fouled up. Okay, well. I'll get back to you later. WX4SAR.